Okay, so hosted versus self-hosted payment processors, which one you set up for your online business will have a dramatic effect on your customer's experience, but which one is best for you? Well, of course, that's what today's video is all about, so let's jump into it. How's it going? It's great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Now, as you know, 10 Ton is all about helping people just like you build and launch and run their online businesses. Today, you'll learn the difference between the two different flavors of payment processors, also known as payment gateways, that is hosted and self-hosted. And I'm going to hopefully give you a hand here determining which one is going to be right for you and for your online business. Now, before we jump into all of this, I've got a free online video course, which is perfect for those that are new to online business and running their online businesses and marketing and all this great stuff. It's available over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. So go ahead and pause this video, head on over there and grab it while it is still there. And when you are ready to continue on here, let's jump into these two different flavors of payment processors, also known as payment gateways, hosted and self-hosted. Now to start things off, maybe we should define what a payment processor or a payment gateway is. Do you know what this is? Well, first of all, a payment processor and a payment gateway are exactly the same thing. Two terms, same, exactly the same thing. And very simply, a payment processor or a payment gateway allows you to accept payments on your website. So you can accept credit card payments from your customers. You could even accept other forms of payment, maybe like PayPal payments or even Bitcoin, this kind of thing. That's all a payment processor is. Now, what most people don't know is the topic of this video, which is that there's two different kinds of payment processors or payment gateways, hosted and self-hosted. Which method you choose, as I mentioned just a moment ago, has a dramatic effect on the experience that your customer is going to have when they purchase from you on your website. And depending on which one you choose, this could have an impact or an effect on your sales as well. So let's take a look at each of these two different kinds of payment processors, and we'll talk about some pros and cons and help you decide which one is going to be right for you and your online business. All right, so the first option that we're going to look at is the hosted variety, the hosted payment gateway or payment processor, also known as third-party gateways, third-party payment processors. All these terms kind of mean the same thing. Now, in this scenario, how it's going to work is your customer begins the checkout process on your site, but then they're going to complete the transaction process over on the payment processors website. So in other words, the customer is going to be redirected off of your site to the payment processor's secure site. Once the transaction is complete, the customer is then going to be redirected back to your website. And again, this scenario is called a hosted scenario or a hosted payment processor because the payment processor service, for instance, PayPal as an example, the payment processor service that you're using hosts the actual payment page in the payment transaction. So for an online business owner for yourself, this is a really easy uh, setup to establish. But from the customer's perspective, it can be a little bit jarring to be taken off of the vendor's website to go and complete the process. Perhaps you've even experienced this yourself when you're making a purchase online and you're taken off of the vendor's site and taken somewhere else to finalize the payment. Now, all of this said, this is also a very common uh, setup, a very common way of handling payments. I just purchased something just this morning where I was taken off of the vendor's site to complete the transaction. And because I'm comfortable with what's happening and what's going on, it wasn't jarring for me at all. Self-hosted payment processors I want to mention here as well 
are a great option for those who are new to online business. Maybe they're just getting themselves set up. If you find yourself in a similar situation, maybe this is a good way for you to go. It's low cost, it's easy to establish, and it's fast to set up as well. Or you could set this kind of a scenario up just for testing, just to see if your product idea is going to be viable before you go and invest all kinds of time and money into your online business with a more complicated setup. But this setup, this scenario doesn't look as professional. Again, you're sending your customer away from your website to complete the purchase. So you have no control over the experience, over the branding, all of this sort of thing. So some quick examples of hosted payment processors. I mentioned PayPal. So specifically, because PayPal offers no less than 10,723 different options, which I'll be detailing out in a future tutorial. Specifically, there's something called PayPal. Let's see if I can get this out. PayPal Payment Standard. So that is an example of a hosted payment gateway. There's also Two Checkout, and there's also Gumroad as well. Okay, so that's the first flavor, hosted payment gateways or hosted payment processors. Now, let's take a look at the other flavor of payment gateways, that is self-hosted payment gateways or payment processors. Okay, so hosted payment processors take the customer off of your site to complete the transaction. However, in a self-hosted scenario, the customer stays on your website the entire time. So in other words, the customer is not going to be redirected away from your website. They stay on your site to complete the transaction. This, of course, is called self-hosted or makes use of uh, self-hosted payment processor. Self-hosted, by the way, meaning that you host everything on your website. Now, this is a seamless and superior customer experience. The customer is not going to be wondering, why am I being taken to a different website? Why am I being taken off of the vendor's website? It isn't jarring or confusing or anything like that for the customer. So it looks much more professional and it provides a much more, more smooth purchase, uh, purchase experience for the customer. What's great too is that you, as the online business owner, as the online vendor, you control the entire experience, the branding, how it looks, the, the feel, all that good stuff. Now, although it's a more detailed and involved setup, payment processor services make it fairly straightforward and fairly easy. It just requires a little bit more of an investment on your part in terms of time and there's uh, increased cost as well. Examples, if you're interested, of self-hosted payment processors. Again, PayPal's, what did we say? 10,000 some odd options. PayPal has PayPal Payments Pro. Try saying that five times fast. There's also a service called Stripe you may have heard of, and you have likely heard of Authorize.net as well. These are all examples of self-hosted payment processors. So that's an overview of hosted and self-hosted payment processors or payment gateways, which one you choose to use for your online business. Again, really depends on a variety of factors. It really comes down to if you want to run a lean and simple online business at first, or do you want to make things look totally professional and totally seamless for the customer right off the bat. For myself, I never liked the idea of redirecting customers. I always wanted to keep the customer on my site and I wanted everything to look professional and I wanted control over the look and the feel and the branding. So I've always used self-hosted payment processors myself. However, check the show notes down below. I'm working on some material that compares different payment processors. I'll link up to that content down below in the show notes as soon as that is published. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you learned a few things. I sure had some fun and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.